Welcome to the channel. In this video, we will talk about using a structure pointer as the member of a structure in C programming language. In the previous tutorials, we have learned about the structures, how we can nest structures, that is how we can have a structure variable as the member of a structure. In this video, we will talk about how we can have the structure pointer as a member of a structure. Now here in this tutorial, I have already written some code. I have included the stdio.h header file and then we have the main function and inside this main function I have defined two structures. One structure is called as address and this structure that I have defined is for storing the address. So this first character array is for storing the house name and then we have this integer type member called as pin code where we will store the pin code. Now for the example purpose, we will uh, use only two fields for this address structure. And then I have defined another structure called as person. It has two members. First is a character array for storing the name of the person. And then we have the integer type member called as age for storing the age of the person. Now in the previous tutorial, we have seen that we can have a structure variable as the member of a structure. Similar to that, what we can do is we can have a structure pointer as the member of a structure. Now, depending on your programming logic, however you want to program it, you can do that. Here, what I want to do is I want this person structure to contain the information related to the address. So what I want to do is I want to have a pointer to a structure variable of type address. So we have to write in the type which is struct address and then we need to give a name for the pointer i'm gonna say addr ptr now here we have the structure pointer as the member of this structure person now the next thing that we do is we will check out how we can uh, assign the values how we can access the values when we have the structure pointer as the member of a structure so the first thing that i'm going to do here is i will create a variable using this person structure so it will be struct person and I'm going to call it as anil equal to and I will assign it with whatever the default values that the uh, compiler has according to the type. So this uh, structure variable anil will get a null value for the name, zero for the age and null value for the pointer. Since it is a pointer, it will get the null value. And here if you want, we can uh, initialize it also. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to provide the values for name and age. So I'm going to say Anil and then for age, I'm going to say 30. And if we provide the values for only two members, then the remaining members will get the default values according to their type. So this address pointer, ADDR pointer will get null value. Now the next thing that we do is we will uh, create a variable of this type address before the definition of this structure variable anil i will create a variable by using this address structure so struct address and i'm gonna say my address equal to and i have to provide um, a couple of values one for the house name and another one for the pin code so i'm gonna say house name is uh, madamaki I can I can give any value and then for the pin code I'm going to say 576100. Now if we talk about this anil structure variable it has three members and we have provided the values for the first two members. So now what we can do is we can provide the value for this third member which is the address pointer. So how we can access that address pointer. Now since this pointer ADR PTR that is the address pointer that we have here is the member of this structure person we can use the dot operator or the structure member operator to access it by using a structure variable here anil is the structure variable so i'm going to use it anil then i'm going to use the dot operator and i can access the structure member and i want to access addr ptr and now I can uh, provide the value for this uh, pointer. So we know that the pointer will contain the address of another variable. 
here we need to provide the address of a structure variable of type structure address so we have this variable my address so we're gonna get the address of it ampersand symbol and uh, my address and now what happens here is this anil structure variables addr pointer that is address pointer will get the address of this uh, my address structure variable now if we want to access the address details by using this structure variable anil then how we can access that first we will write the structure variable name which is anil then we use the dot operator structure member operator to access the member of the structure variable anil so this addr ptr is the member of this structure variable anil so we can uh, specify that one here now this address pointer or this addr ptr is a structure pointer in the previous tutorial we have learned that to access the members of a structure variable by using a structure pointer we can use the arrow operator or the structure pointer operator so here we have the structure pointer and to access the members using it we can use the arrow operator and then we need to specify the member name so we can say you know whether we want pin code or you know if you want uh, or you know if you want h name then we can specify that so now here what i'm going to do is i'm going to use a printf function and i'm going to display all the details of this structure variable anil so it will be printf and here first we will display name string value so percentage s age integer value so percentage d and then we want to display the details of this address so this house name string value pin code integer value so here it will be percentage s yes, percentage d now we need to provide the values for these placeholders so it will be anil dot name then anil dot age after that we need to get the house name h name member to do that first we will write anil dot addr ptr address pointer arrow operator h name okay similarly we will write anil dot addr ptr arrow operator and then we can say pin code okay now if i save this program and if i run this code then you guys can see we get anil 30 madamaki and this pin code value now what is the advantage of using a structure pointer as the member of a structure definition now here let us say in our program we are working with multiple variables of this structure type person so let me create a structure variable now and let us say person and we will say amul and here we will provide the values for this structure variable amul so name is amulya and then for age we will say 24 and we will not provide the value for this uh, structure pointer addr ptr for this amul structure variable so now it is containing null value now let us say anil and amul both are having the same address so what we can do is we can use this address that we have here for this amul structure variable also so here i can say amul dot address pointer is equal to ampersand my address okay now what i'm gonna do is copy and paste this uh, printer function in here to display the values of this uh, structure variable amul and here we will replace the structure variable name it will be amul and also after displaying one value we will uh, insert a new line so that the details of each structure variable can appear in a separate line okay now i'm gonna save this program and i'm gonna run this code now you guys can see anil 30 madamaki and this pin code amulya 24 madamaki and this pin code so now what we are doing here is we are sharing the information in our code now for some reason if we have to update the address then we can change that one here for example we can make it udupi and the change here will reflect for this anil and amul if i run this we get udupi now let us say they are gonna get different addresses 
then also what we can do is we can create another address for example like this i'm gonna say my address 2 and i'm gonna make it kundapur and then uh, let's make let's change the pin code to some value and then we can assign that new address to whoever we need for example let us say anil's address will change so he will get the address which is specified in this my address too so after making this if we run this code then you guys can see now anil is containing a different address and amulya is having a different address and now if you want you can provide the value of this address while initializing the variable you know when you're declaring it for example here we can directly provide the um, address of this uh, uh, my address or my address too so i'm gonna say ampersand anil will get my address too so it will be my address too and for amulya also we can provide the value and to do that we can use the comma and we provide the value for example my address okay now i'm gonna remove this comment out this because we have already provided the address value anil will get my address too and uh, amulya will get my address now if i save this program and run this code then we get the result like this so this is it guys for this video this is how we can have a structure pointer as the member of a structure and also this is how we can use it in our program if you like this video hit the like button if you don't like it then hit the dislike button if you want to say something then write that in the comment box for more tutorials like this do subscribe to the channel thank you for watching i'll see you later in the next video